walking around drinking water and all sort of nonsense. You see me? You know, the most water I drink is when I'm with you here yeah, doing this <laughs> in this podcast, which I love so much. Yeah, it's important to drink love water. Yeah, but I always just drink juice or something, but water is very important. It's important like the region, the living arrangement here in Holland. And especially Eindhoven. I was looking up some properties, well not properties, houses and such. Yeah? In um outside of the city, outside of the city of Eindhoven. Did you know you can get houses there for 700 euro per month? Yeah, easily. Yeah. Yeah, and you you have like a huurtoeslag, which like a rental um payment you get from mm-hmm. the government. Yeah. If your rent is like below 737 euros, yeah. Like you get like at most most people get like two thirds of their rent back. So you pay like 200 300 euro rent for a full house. But Look not in house. Eindhoven here. No. I look up some properties, fifteen hundred euros mm-hmm. per month. I'm not gonna fuck. Do that place come with um some gold covered toilet seat? Mm? Is the no, tiles made probably, of gold? No, it's probably a shitty house too. For fifteen hundred euros. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, I tw- know the problem. For twelve hundred euros, you can get a single flat. Believe me, I see one bedroom with a little toilet over there. Yeah. And you cook the food in your bedroom actually. Because it's a little it's a little thing. There's a stove over there with a little sink and your bed is not far away from it. Twelve hundred euro. Now how can me as a Jamaican come here even think about paying fifteen hundred euro per month for a living arrangement? You're crazy. I would never do that. I would rather live on that bridge where supposedly I am now, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know the problem. I, I, I've lived in Eindhoven for about 20 years and I believe I moved around six times in Eindhoven in the last six, seven years or so. And I went from like seven square meters up until here in Velto, which then really is nearby. It's nearby Eindhoven. Yeah. 21 uh, square meter. And I almost, I always paid about the same amount between three to five hundred, or from seven square mile, uh, square, square meters, meters up to up to twenty one. It's it's insane. It, it, it's insane. Yeah, I asked. I, I was talking to my um, my guy, my guy who takes care of my money thing, isn't it? And he was like, "Yo," because I had a good conversation with him, because I talked to him. I said, "Yo, do the math." Yeah, how much should I be paying for rent? And when he tell me how much, he said, listen, your income and so on, so on, so it's good. You can pay up to this amount. That's my accountant, yeah? So you can pay up to this amount. And I say, you must be fucking crazy. I'm not paying this amount. I, if I, if I pay so much, so much of rent, I am sub-renting it also. Somebody else have to move in <laughs> and and help me with this shit because I cannot leave Jimmy. I cannot come here and pay so much for rent. But it's too much. What these people asking for every month for rent, isn't it? And I yeah, am past it's, that it's... point. Where I'm past that point where I am living to prove to somebody else that yeah. I am living. You understand? I'm not here to we call it in Jamaica show off. I'm not here to rent an apartment for 1500 euro. Yeah, just to prove that hey, I live up there. <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah, but it, it's especially in the big cities like Eindhoven is the fourth or fifth biggest city you in the world. You can imagine Amsterdam? Yeah, I know Amsterdam. It's 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 fucking insane Amsterdam. You have like these rooms that are one and a half meter wide. Like well, a prison cell. So, yeah, it's really weird and then you you live like six stories up. And last year with a storm, like roofs start falling off those buildings because they're so fucking tall and old. It's insane. And the rental prices like here in Eindhoven, Amsterdam, mm-hmm. Utrecht, Den Haag. Um, Den Haag and another one there. They're, Rotterdam. Yeah, Rotterdam. They're about 600, 700 euros if you want to have like 20 square meters. A little fucking shit. Yeah. It's it's not even a, a livable space, you know. And like nobody fifth, uh, can. And everybody there is using one toilet over there. Yeah, 
it's weird. It's yeah. Uh -uh. Well, I'm not so far down the ladder. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing that shit. But but I don't live in Amsterdam. Yeah, Amsterdam. Amsterdam is like for the tourists and for people who really have it to really go yeah, to Amsterdam. It's, it's a weird place. More and more. The, the funny thing is, most Jamaicans who I know live in Amsterdam or Rotterdam. You see? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how they're living, but salute to them. But I mean, I ain't over here, and I will never pay a certain amount for rent. Yeah, what my accountant tell me, I live by half of that. Half of what he tell me, I can, uh, that's my limit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you me? And if I should go there, if I should move in somewhere really expensive, I need, I will sub-rent it, and I'm serious. I will sub-rent it. Or, if I decide to get married, which is something really likely, yeah, me and whomever, Decide to get pregnant or maybe pregnant already. You move in, and although we might be together, you have to be here half of the rent. You understand? I am very strict when it comes to that. Whomever living in my house have to be a rent. Yeah, and but it's also it's it's a pretty normal thing here in the Netherlands because people can't afford to pay it in, on, on their own. They just can't. And I agree. Peer, not peer, get somebody. And help with the rent, and do not. I well, I don't. You know, I don't see this a lot with um Dutch. You guys seem to live within your means. Not everybody, but a lot of you, sixty maybe seventy percent live within their means. If you have to save to pay your rent, then you shouldn't be living there. If when your rent is due, and you pay it, then you are suffering for the next week. You shouldn't be paying so much rent. Yeah, yeah, but it's really hard yeah, to, if, if, if you're, especially if you're studying. No, no, if you are studying, then you have to live Oh, you have to live. You have to do what you have to do. It's like a young person doing the nonsense, I forgive them. If I see a young man or a young woman doing that, I say, oh, they're young. Yeah. They will grow up. If you are studying, I say, oh, you can live anywhere you want. You can live with 15 persons. In one little place. I don't care. You're studying. So do what you have to do. But as a grown person, as a grown man, paying so much rent, it's ridiculous. But what yeah. can you do? You, you, can't, you can barely do anything except for go live uh, in like a village. Yeah, like you, you have a lot of village. The yeah, like the, the good thing about the Netherlands is that we have the best fucking infrastructure in the whole world. Like, yeah, it doesn't matter where you want to go. If you have, like, ev even a bike, but if you have, like, a scooter or something, you can get a pretty cheap get place. Back. But that's also fucked up because then you're looking at, like, the stores, like, here closing at 8 o'clock and mm -hmm. you have to go there and to, go the, to the city, city to get this. Life. Yeah, and stuff like that, which is annoying. And to, to be honest, I like living out of the, 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 the city. Yeah, me too. I like all the city. I don't want, I'd never like look out my window and see a road, a main road, where there are cars going up and down. I hate that. Yeah, I don't like I got a place either. in Eindhoven and I had to give it up for that. Because outside, I open the front door and it's a fucking freeway. The car going boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not into that shit. Yeah, I, I've lived at a lot of those places too, man. I, like a lot I of hate noise. It. I hate so. it. A truck coming down the road. <laughs> Some bullshit, but yo, I uh, the rent is too expensive. That's the only thing I don't like with a city. The, the the only thing that giving me a fight here in Holland is the rental yeah, places. Man. You, most of the time, you you lose about one third to half of your fucking salary just for renting something. Yeah, it sucks. And I believe rent used to be like mostly around maximum of like one fifth of your salary like i think 30 years 20 years ago or something Yo, so it went up really fast and it's the thing is it's growing yeah especially on Eindhoven because we have a lot of uh expat students you know from uh from china and other parts of the world or the european union a lot of people can come study here yeah and they're willing to pay a lot of money and they, they get fooled really easily with the rental rent, prices yeah. and because there's no like any um what's it called uh the government isn't didn't check that on time 
that, and I think that's why all the rental price went up so high because they kind of let it go or something. And it, it, it's not coming back down. No, it's just going up. It's, it's not going gonna up, go back going down. Up, going up. So we who live here, we are fucked. Yeah. Yeah, we we just have to go along to get along. And yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna rent. Uh, what's it called? An anti-squatting shit, you know. Mm-hmm. So that'll be way cheaper, but then you lose a lot of your rights. Like they can kick you out in in like a month's notice. No. Oh. So, but it's really cheap, and you can get something else with those uh, at that place with the the. Yeah, what I'm waiting for is for them to build a new bridge. That's more comfortable, isn't it? But yo, <laughs> <laughs> but yo yeah. I, I don't want to even complain because it, it, you have to live with it. The way I see it, I have to rent somewhere. When I decide to do it, I have to rent somewhere. Either with wifey or whomever. Or, mm, 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 or I rent it and then sub, sub rent it to other yeah, yeah. folks. Listen me. Or even to other people. I don't care. Get the rent done. I'm not here to live to please people. I'm not here to, to live above my needs. You understand? So I have make to, money. Yeah, I'm here to make money and pimp. You see me? It is what it is. 